vaccinations and stuff, and sometimes you can't even get them all out. And so, um, just ask the Lord where else you need where you need magnets. You know, they've they've followed me around this country with UFOs. <laughs> they didn't need to put somebody in a car five ten feet behind me and follow me. They just followed me by satellites and UFOs. <laughs> And the other thing they use is uh, is holographs. I remember the first time I ever saw a holograph. And uh, I was at the bank. And uh, I looked in the rearview mirror, and there was a car behind me. It was a blue car, and there were two girls in it. And I didn't think anything of it, so I just waited. And, and uh, I got out of there, and I pulled out and around. And something just made me stop my car and look back at the bank window, because it just, something just seemed very odd. I don't know what it was. It's just a hunch. Look back at the bank window. And so I looked back, and there was no blue car with two girls there. It was actually a red car with one person in the car. <laughs> and so, you know, the first thing I thought, oh, that was good. That was good. How'd they do that, you know? First thing that crossed my mind, because uh, they used some kind of holograph to make it make it appear and make me believe that there was a car with two girls behind me and how they do that stuff. It's really good. Um, <laughs> so they, they've got technology you can't even imagine. And I've warned about the rabbits and stuff. If when you're driving, they'll they'll shoot these holly these rabbits towards your car like it's going into your car, so you'll swerve and run off the road and stuff. Uh, and so I just encourage you to just run over and keep going. Don't break. They're just holographs. <laughs> They're trying to get you to wreck your car. Experienced that uh, a lot when I was out at the Four Corners area. <laughs> you know the rabbits shooting under the cars and stuff. I never stopped. I never missed a beat. And so. Uh, you just get on to their games. Question from a listener or comment. Why well, hasn't more been disclosed about the burnable coffins in the South? I think this is the thing that should make their make should wake the resistance. Who's inform the soldiers of the also cough is a coincidence. It's already in our air key states. PA in Ohio. I don't cough until I get on the air. Uh what happens is I I can't breathe. It's like they're choking me all the time, you know? Or I'm just so not used to talking that uh my lungs can't handle it. I don't know. Uh, I never talk unless I'm on the air very much, and so um, that's always uh, been a problem. I remember doing Jeff Rents' show a couple of years ago, and I couldn't breathe at all. It was like there was hands around my neck choking me. Um, I've just gotten used to it, you know? Uh, I've just gotten used to it. I just deal with it, you know? They can't shut me up. They have to do more than that to shut me up. <laughs> Ooh, you know, what are they going to do now? Make me cough. Ooh, they're bad, you know? I'm so scared. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. What about the specific sizes? Do they have different uses? Uh, I think I answered that one already. Maybe I'm just rereading the same email. Uh, because it's just more power in the, in the more you use. Um, 10 ounces, 5 ounces, and 3 ounces. Uh, question from a listener. Hey, Sherry, I listened to everyone who went to college. Now, like everyone else, I have student loan debt. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. I was planning on cracking down and busting my butt and trying to pay it off this year, but then I was wondering, since the end is near, should I just pay the minimum and not worry about paying it off? Because it's all going to crash anyway, and all my hard work and no fun would have been wasted. What do you think I should do? You know, just just make the payment. Make the minimum payment a month, you know? You don't have to kill you. you know, use what money you can to, to stock up. I know some people would say to not even pay it off. Just stock, you know, use the money or whatever, but do what the Lord leads you to do, you know? Just, I tried to um, just get all my debts paid off and, and out of my hair. I don't have credit card debts. I've never even had. I haven't had a credit card in 30 years. You know, I just don't deal with credit cards. And so, uh, but I had student loans to deal with, and I and I make the minimum payments. You know, and just do what the Lord leads you to do. You know. So, uh, mm, you know, yeah, things are going to hell. Do you worry about paying the government back or survival? I mean, you know. Another question from a listener. For some reason, the county government here owns a China Army helicopter. Don't you love those things? Do you think that this is strange or what they need this for? I have it here, too. I mean, my kids love them. They used to come around here, and, and like I've said, I live in a two-horse two horse town. And this big, loud, obnoxious China thing would circle a town all day long. And my kids love it. They'd go outside and look at it. You know, the military, you know, our boys are really into that stuff. Uh... <laughs> What they are is, because uh, I asked somebody that, that knew, <laughs> um, they're, they've got them loaded with surveillance equipment inside of them, and they're mapping out your areas. And so 
I think they've just upgraded from regular black helicopters to the Chinooks because they can map your entire area, get it recorded, get where you are recorded. <laughs> Most likely, uh, you know, it's, they're mapping things. They have, the whole things inside are just uh, computers and uh, surveillance and electronic equipment. And so um, that's what I've heard. And so it makes the most sense because why would they have one out in my area, you know? Question from a listener. Hey, Sherry, great to hear your voice. Glad we're able to have another Monday night. I recently read an article on your site, an article that was linked to it, and I wanted to get into detail on how Satan made instruments and had the sons of Cain use them to play beautiful music to the sons of Adam down from Mount Sinai, and how they used music to induce sinful actions in people. I like to listen to music a lot. I was wondering if it was looked down upon by Yahuwah in any way. I've put a lot of thought into it and wanted your view. Uh, just trying hard to eliminate the sin of my life. Music is used for many things. Uh, and, if, and if someone knows exactly how to manipulate and, and music and Satan, uh, because he was in charge of music. Music can be used for good or bad. It can be used for good or bad. There are certain notes, and, and you'll feel it. If you're really in tune with, with your own spirit, uh, how it affects you, things affect you, you'll hear certain chords being played, and, and they're, they're used to entice demonic activity, entice demons, draw demons into an, air, an area. It can be used for a lot of things. The angels sing and praise the Lord, and, and it's uplifting and, and good heavenly music. I'm not saying all Christian music is, is heavenly, because it's not. Frankly, there's some some Christian music is no different than uh, than rock and roll. And so, uh, just listen to the, the the tone and the pitch of the music. You know, and if, it, and if, it, if you feel you, it hits your spirit in the wrong way, don't listen to it. You know, just become in tune to how you feel and how your spirit reacts to things. You know, that's all I can. You know, because it's, it's used for good or bad, good it's good for you, for both. And so, there was there was somebody, Tom Mack at Whitestone dot org, I believe it is, and he had made some tapes of music that he'd gotten out of the Bible codes, and that was some really cool music. I really liked it. He found uh, notes and and stuff like that from the Bible codes, and so recorded what he found. And so you have this like uh, Bible code music. It's really cool. And so. Um, yeah, there's just millions of ways for music, other than the obvious of just inciting people to beat people up and, and do sinful things, and, you know, stay away from that kind. If you have any questions uh, for the show, send it to Sherry Talk Radio at yahoo.com, folks. Tonight's your night. I'm here tonight just to answer your questions. Hi, Sherry. And talking about martial law, they are starting to reactivate emergency announcements on TV. Isn't that annoying? Especially, like, when there's only a few minutes left of something you're watching. Uh, do you think that this is how they will lure, lure huge amounts of people to a certain place, maybe according to their zip code? Uh, also, Larry King Live has been talking about aliens and UFOs for the past several weeks. Yes. Oh, I don't know about that, but I don't want to watch them, but I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Um, reactive. Yeah, that's annoying. They do it every night. They used to do it once a week. They do it every night now. Yeah. <laughs> that's annoying. I find it amusing. I watch those shows late night on MSNBC. Uh, some of those talk shows, like 2, 3, and 4 in the morning, they're on MSNBC. Get a big kick out of those sometimes. Lou Dobbs, I like watching him uh, and some other people. I don't, even, I don't even know their names. But, yeah, I think people are, they just can't hide anymore, especially when their own factions and the ones they hate and everything's going to become so dominant. It's like I've said, you know, when my Maitreya comes, it's over for anyway at that point. And... So I don't know. It's like a, just a, a watch and see wait on exactly what they're going to do. There's there's reports that up to three to twenty suitcase nukes are floating around the country. It could actually make it look like we're being attacked by Iran when it's really just our own government setting off suitcase nukes in city. 